I'm a little concerned that my manzanita idea may come off as antlers. <laughs> and I think this is a beautiful color combination. Oh, it's a beautiful color combination. I just think that the whole look It's a mishmash. She's a rose. It's always catching my eye. Flashing color that I can't deny. She brightens up the world, that's for sure. She's my better for sure. You are all looking so bored. Can we wipe that boredom off your face? I mean, I, I think it's going to go away the second I tell you what's going on. OK. Is it Bring bored it or is it tired? I think it's bored. Bring it on. Our clients this week have given us orders that are all very specific. We have a 40th birthday where the arrangement needs to match exact space dimensions. A boutique hotel has placed an order for flowers that are tailor-made for three of their themed rooms. And a charity event wants a standout floral display at their entrance. I'm meeting with event organizers to find out what their vision for the entrance is. So red and white ball, tell me what you're thinking in terms of flowers. Well, we chose red and white because the, the, the event is for breast cancer, uh, and red and white is the deconstruction of pink. Which I was just going to say because breast pink cancer. is breast yeah. cancer color. Red and white typically can look like a Christmas arrangement or a Valentine's Day arrangement. We don't want yeah. to go that route. No. We want hot and sexy. We yes. want it to be big. Vibrant. People are going to be, it's going to be nighttime, and you know when you don't know where you, is this the right place? Yeah. We want them to see it. No, OK, here's the event, yeah. a showstopper, and we trust you. OK, good. No pressure. Thank you. <laughs> These are fabulous. They look heavy, but they're fiberglass. Oh, my god. I know. Awesome. It's great. So the deal is red and white ball for breast cancer. They are raising money. The organizers are raising money for breast cancer. Sorry? Red and white for breast cancer? Yeah. Breast cancer is pink. Pink is the color of breast cancer, but red and white is a deconstruction of pink. That works in paint, right? If you mix it together in flowers, you take red and white flowers, you get... Red Ugly Christmas white. arrangement. <laughs> we have some really good product. A bunch of great things in red, white, and some dark pink because I can't really come to terms with just using red and white. Love white agapanthus. These. I love it. I see dark. those. Heliconia are amazing. We've got <laughs> some interesting leaves. Accordion palm. Oh, yeah. I love accordion palm. We've got some beautiful, beautiful pink cymbidium orchids. These cymbidiums are gorgeous because they're actually white on the outside. And they are sort of this very, very deep, almost crimson color. Some of these elements are a bit much. I think I'm we have to sure start with like whatever the tallest, yeah, like these. main element is, and then build around it. These are our focal flowers for this. For sure, they're focal. <laughs> they're definitely focal. So here's what we've got to work with. We've got about 36 inches from the, the lip of this up. So this is how tall your arrangement can be. So sort of almost. Oh, so this has to be really cut low. down. Yeah. You can put these into the floral foam. But, but we can only do it once. You can only do it once because once it we makes put it in, a it big makes, hole. Or if we take it out, the floral foam will actually start to shrink back and it won't hold it as well again. So let me just see where we need this to be. We can only cut this thing once. I'm just uh, going to cut the sides down and on these to make it fit into the uh, foam better so that I have space for other flowers when they go in. And the good thing about tropicals is they last really well even out of water. Beautiful. Perfect. OK, so what's the next element that you want to put in here? These accordion palm leaves. Maybe we'll just put one behind each. Heliconia. OK, orchid. So what are you seeing now? I don't know. I think what we need is some very dark leafy greens in here, some camellia, some gardenia foliage, some of this ruscus. I love this. This is an Israeli ruscus. It's really pretty. Yeah, that's working out. So you've got basically your color block in here. So many, what that means is concentrating similar colors in one area to maximize impact. Do the white agapanthus in a short cluster here. Don't take it around. Just build it in here, and then we've got that bleached white amaranthus. Yes. Take that, have that cascade down over it. A little ball of white. Yeah. Take some of the red peonies. Again, maybe color block them in a grouping. Look how cute that is. This is very textural, right? And you've got elements that are actually coming out, so the whole thing does have a really nice three-dimensional feel. If you put the agapanthus down flat, this flattens out the area. If you poke the agapanthus so that it's sticking out, like this, if we put just a little bit of the amaranthus in. Are you still going to use roses? Uh, yep. 
Now these are fabulous. Oh, what are these, color. cord line? Is that mm, what they're? I think no. they're tea leaves. They have a pink, yeah, pink interior. Oh, and I'll, nice. I'll put the peonies in. You can deal with these. What are you doing? I'm stapling them. I'm not sure where these are going to go yet. Do you want one that's curled more? Maybe. Like, not as tall, as yeah. long? Like, I like these two, and this one, I don't know if I like No, that. I like it. It's stained. I did too. It's stained. OK, we don't like the roses. For me, this color combination here, I'm loving it. And I think this is a beautiful color combination. Oh, it's a beautiful color combination. I just think that the whole look is kind of... It's a not, mishmash. You know what? It's totally mishmash. Oh. Get rid of the white hanging down and put that the red. in, like, and have it come out here and down here so that it sort of goes into both sides. Oh, it's so great. Now the red and white really works. Yeah, see, that's a nice curve that you're getting. Yeah, it makes a line. Yeah, OK, I fixed it. Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Are you happy with it? I'm happy enough. I okay. feel like Are you happy I feel with like it? it came together. Happy it's not my favorite, but I can deal with this. that my Manzanita idea may come off as antlers. <laughs> Although challenging and somewhat stressful, Amber and I agreed that the red and white arrangement turned out better than we'd expected. My next project is for a client who owns a fun and different boutique hotel. He's requested several distinct designs be created for three rooms, which will be occupied by some high-profile guests in town for a big film event. I love this project. I'm so, Leigh, you should okay. have totally come to this place. This hotel is fabulous. Each room is custom designed. They've got a red room, which is everything is totally red. They've got one called the Parlor of Twilight, and everything's in purple and mauves, blues, a little bit purple. of fuchsia, magenta. And the next one, it's called the Urban Voyager. It's got like almost like dreadlocks hanging from the canopy, and it's all in natural woods. The only color in it is this beautiful shot of, like, apple green. First pick, Kathy. The natural room. I think I'm going to do the red room. So which one do I get? Parlor of Twilight. Oh, wonderful. So I'm thinking, somehow, branch, branch. Yep. And I'm going to do this. Oh. And I'm going to drape my Spanish moss to pick up from those dreadlock-style things that they've got hanging, because it looks like Spanish moss hanging in there. Okay. So there's enough room to do a grouping that would be in front of this mirror. It would accentuate and complement the color of the room. We don't have a lot of space for multiple arrangements, so it streamlines the effect. I think I might do a grouping, too. Really? <laughs> yeah. OK. I'm a little concerned that my Manzanita idea may come off as antlers. <laughs> my idea for the red room, I don't know if, if you noticed, but that little desk just across from the bed. Yeah. It's very small, but it's one of the few places where you could put flowers where they'd be visible. I mean, this is a file folder, and I thought I would just do like solid flowers in yeah. here because it's that's it's, nice. It's a touch of whimsy and it's something that's not quite expected. I'm pretty happy my containers came with liners, I'll tell you. Mine didn't. Do you like my very high-tech tried and true method? Use a garbage bag, it works. I guess I'll start with the steel berries. I'll do my companion piece first. I want the arrangement to actually be flush with the container that I've got, which I thought could just sit on the desk and be bursting with red flowers. So it's tone on tone. It's kind of hip. It doesn't take up a lot of space. This trachyllium is crazy. It's you so love gorgeous. It? Yeah. It's almost moss-like. It's it really is fluffy. beautiful. I'm mixing it with Dianthus. Are you using the trachelium as well? I'm using it. I love the purple variety of trachelium, and it's a great filler flower for the parlor of twilight. These roses are so beautiful. You can never go wrong with roses. They're so full that this shape will stay pretty much the same as the blooms die. It'll just air dry into a perfect dried arrangement. Allium. And they smell like onions. Well, they're from the onion family. Rena, what do you think about this? I think it's fabulous. 
The colors and the textures are very twilight. So I found that my ranunculus, yeah. you know how sometimes the stems are so weak and they start to shatter? Yeah. And just going into the foam alone is actually causing the stems to break, so I'm putting them on water picks as well. Hey, wait a second. I thought you were doing red, red, red. I was thinking red, 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 but sometimes if you add another color, it actually makes the red even more red. I think I'm gonna use these midnight blue anemones. They're giving it some color. I want it to go this way because this is what makes sense. You should let it flow naturally. How is yours coming along, Soleil? Well, I'm done. You're done? Party's over. Can't you smell oh. the onions? Yikes, yeah. I've just capped this one here with the anemones, the trichelium, and the steel berry. Yep, and then you're going to have this beautiful blue mirror that's yeah, going to reflect. Yeah, it's amazing. And yeah. for a little height, I've tucked the allium in. So I think. Wow. Oh, yes, Kathy. I'm feeling But I need to it. hide my water too. Maybe some moss. Yes, because since you guys are all doing companion pieces for your little room, I want to do a companion piece for mine. What are you doing in your companion piece? Roses. Same thing, just a nice bowl of roses. I'm just doing a very classic little piece. I'm, I'm just putting the roses in, lining them up, going round and round. So you can't see the water pick. Everything's fabulous. What are those? It's Dianthus. It looks like a thistle. I know, I love it. Wow. All right, we are done. <laughs> this is stunning. It's a pillow. It's beautiful. I love it. Look, we've got color blocking. We've got green, we've got purple, and we've got red. And each one has two pieces rather than the one. They're fabulous. Look I love them. it. Yep. I'm done, though. Let's put these in the cooler and go home. Perfect. Alcove. Nestle, nestle, this and get a little tighter. This looks awfully big, according to that picture. Is this going to fit? This looks Isn't huge. Isn't it great? <laughs> The three floral groupings that Kathy Soleil and I completed for the boutique hotel are fabulous, and each reflects the creative themes of the room. Our next order is for a man's 40th birthday party. They want something large and impressive for the front entrance. The challenge for Kathy and my floral student, Jay, is that the flowers need to fit into a specific enclosed space. The gentleman's turning 40, and this is the alcove arrangement for the entrance. They're staring at, like, a little cubby hole, and this is gonna go in there. Let me show you. As soon as you step in, there's this alcove. Right. Oh, okay. okay. It's like a shelf. Oh, cool. Did you get the measurements of the alcove? Oh, yes, I did. The alcove's 30. Take note of the size of the vase while I show you this. Mm -hmm. 30 by 16 wide. Right. And only eight deep. Which means this is too big for that space. It's too tall, no? It's too tall. And, and it's actually too wide, but this was a gift from one of their very good friends and they would really like to use it. So I'm gonna make it work and I'm thrilled because I have a secret weapon. So normally we would go one third, two thirds. So one third container, two thirds product and that would balance okay. it out. Okay, okay. But we're already starting that, you know, two thirds is, uh, is the, the glass. Yeah. So, I will show you. I've got hanging amaranthus that will hang over and drop some of the color down so it'll balance it out a bit better. That's going to give me a drop down, right? right. So that'll bring the color down. And I'm That'd just gonna fill pretty. it up with gorgeous stuff. I'm using these deep red peonies. I'm using the gorgeous skyline roses, the hanging amaranthus. I love I've these. got seeded eucalyptus. I'm gonna use those gorgeous green orchids. This camellia is beautiful. 
couple more. Seated eucalyptus. Okay, that is gorgeous. This is hilarious. I thought I was all that going, yeah, yeah, we're gonna make it work, it's gorgeous. Now I'm trying to cram these giant things into a small space, I'm like, oh. You realize how, my little, big mouth. how little space you have now. I'm putting the sim bits in. Jay, can I ask you to come here for a sec? Sure. Open that up at 30 inches and let me see what I've got going on here. It's too high. It's great. It's too high. What's too high? Your arrangement is too high. Oh, but that's okay. We've got a little um, uh, space this Buffer. way. Yeah. Okay, we'll put that center. I'm taking off the leaves because I really just want the berries. Hand me a handful of hanging amaranthus. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's time for red peonies. I'm good. The thing with these is when you start peeling too many of the petals off, yeah. you can they'll shatter on you. But no, that one can... Uh, okay, <laughs> hold your breath. It's like taking a Band-Aid <laughs> off. I can't believe I'm restricted by these measurements. I love this. One more, let's just see, I'm done. Wow, oh, what do you think? wow. Okay, so oh watch from there, God. and then it's gonna nestle into the alcove. Nestle, nestle, this and This looks get a awfully tighter. big, according to that picture. Is this gonna fit? This looks Isn't huge. Isn't it great? <laughs> no, it will. and our orders have all been completed. We just have several deliveries left to do. First up, Monique and I are dropping off and installing the entrance piece for the red and white ball. I will make this easy for you. Okay. We only have to go like four feet. Okay. Lift, one, lift. two, three. Got lift. it. Lift. Okay. Lift. Thank God lift. you came. No, no, just like that, right here. No, it can't go where I want it. On the no, side no, 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 right here. Right here. What, right where, there? Right there. Why don't you just fluff it up a bit, center it for me? Yeah. I'm gonna get the organizers. Okay. Hey, ladies. Hey. Hi. Got a flowered filled urn outside. Let's go Can check it out. That? Yes, absolutely. Come on. Okay. Hey, thanks. One out. <gasps> Wait, no, no, no. It no, it's, it does. Oh, it's perfect. Get the full effect. Oh, that's perfect. Great oh job. Oh, cool. Perfect. They've got the pink, the white, and the red. And yet it's Fabulous. modern and it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yay. That's Yay. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are I, you? I'm good, thank Come on you. In. I'm delivering flowers for the 40th birthday. Wow, those are quite fantastic. Aren't they? Molly, well, they're lovely. This is the arrangement into this little alcove. Okay, I'm happy. You? Yeah. Okay. It's magnificent. What do you think? Yeah, it looks fantastic. Oh, that's Thank great. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, this is going to be the showstopper. Now it was time for Kathy and I to deliver the pieces for the themed rooms at the Boutique Hotel. We have flowers. We I come bearing see. flowers. Wow, they look great. These are gorgeous. Okay. Well, I won't be able to help you put in the arrangements. Can I leave you with the keys? Absolutely. So yes. To... We get to go through the rooms alone. <laughs> I trust That sounds like jumping on the bed to me. <laughs> Hi, my room. So one little baby here. Do you need some help no. with that? Excellent. Does it work? Companion piece. Hello. Yeah. Is that how it's working for you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. Next. Wow, the color hits you every single time. Wow. Do you know where you'd like your companion piece? In there, if it'll fit, in there. I'm going to 
Slide this one over. Huh. Does it fit? Oh my goodness. Does it fit? Yeah. I'm not ready to leave. Still the parlor of Twilight. It still is. Okay, babies, welcome home. How long do we have before he's going to come looking for us? Unknown. I think he was busy down there. Do you want to order room service?